Welcome back from the break. If you've just joined us, we're talking about the economy. Join me, the economic lecturer, Dr. Brian Morrison, and marketing graduate, Julia Cabla. Hello. Hello. Now, why don't we continue where we left off? Well, I agree that the country is sleepwalking itself back into a recession on the but it should be clear that the problem lies deeper with the government's inability to maintain an oversaturated marketplace. No, no, no. The problem isn't with an oversaturation of the marketplace. The real problem lies with government encouraging the excess in consumerism. How can there ever be an excess in consumerism? I don't understand. Consumerism is what keeps our country afloat. We need to encourage more consumerism, or we risk permanently disrupting this nation's economy, not to mention its basic moral fiber. Politics has taken the place of morality, young lady, and politics is a brute force. Don't call me, young lady. Under a mask of modernization and cultural reform, the government is actually finding its responsibilities in favor of a greater European company body. They hope to increase the prosperity and importance of the state. This is what wisdom was all about, you see. Julia, what do you think the government is going to do with this excess in the workforce now? The government is free. They can't afford for the workers to go back to university, so they shut us out. Lowering the minimum wage, I admit, won't make many people happy. But it's a necessary step if this country wants to realistically compete abroad. That's a load of cops! Excuse me, I'm talking. Alright, alright, let's, let's just calm down a bit here. Ten years. 
Have you never wondered why you were never promoted? You're just too quiet. And unfortunately, people just don't give a shit about the quiet ones these days. If you want to get ahead nowadays, you've got to make a lot of noise. This is what our company needs. The days of the silent worker are gone. Gone, mate. We need to make noise. Those days are gone now. Wait, you're firing me because I'm too quiet. You're not listening. You're not firing. We're not firing you. You're not fired. Okay? Okay, look. I shouldn't be telling you this, but you're a good worker and you deserve to know. Please, <sighs> there's a storm coming. In this company, in this whole country, we're like, how would you say, we're like farmers without our haystacks tied down. And there's a wind blowing, we're feeling the wind, and we're losing everything. And we have to be strong, we have to be strong to hold on to what we have, to what we've worked for. We have to be able to be so loud, to be to shout from the top of our lungs. Are you ready to do that? Oh, I am ready. I'm ready. I'm sorry, Louise. You're not. Look, I'm ready. But you're not. But, but I came in to work every day. I never took sick leave. I was never late. I never made any trouble. This, this isn't fair. Louise, I just don't think there's any point in having a job if you're not going to try to get promoted. And that fear has nothing to do with it. Life is not black and white, you know. Now, we've organised for you to take an extended leave. And we'll give you a call when we feel the time is right for you to come back. Please go through the behind you. I look out my window now and I don't see a single sheep on the horizon. Face of an old enemy, but there's no war.